Man United have signed Marcel Sabitzer, the 28-year-old Austrian man, on loan for a few months. What an exciting signing. Here he is. He's going to play in midfield because Christian Eriksen is very injured. He's out for a long time. And they need cover because the only options they have are Fred. And that's the end of the list because you've got Van de Beek is injured. You've got Eriksen is injured. Uh, Scott McTominay is injured. Big problems. And United are in four different cup competitions. So they've got a guy on loan for a few months. Makes perfect business sense because he's half a decent player. He's quite decent. What's he going to do? Where's he going to play? Well, what we know about Sabitzer is he's a very energetic leader. He likes to receive the ball deep. He likes to carry the ball up the pitch quite often. And he likes to basically, what he does most of the time, if you look at his uh, Y Scout profile, anything like that, he gets the ball around about here and pings it to the other side of the pitch. Lots and lots of switch passes. That's what you'll see from deep maybe. Ping it out wide. Uh, he does it a lot. He also likes to take shots from about here. <laughs> Just punt them in the goal. Maybe that'll work. Who knows? Another thing he brings is versatility. So yes, he can play as a central midfielder, like a, as a six or an eight, something like that. But he can also play wide left, wide right. He can play through the middle as an attacking midfielder. He basically gives you high-end coverage of all these different positions that Man United might need. Should they need to rest Rashford or give Fernandez a break? They've got a player who can play all of it, maybe not as well as in the individual they already have. But what you get is a, a very experienced player. He's played international football, Champions League football for RB Leipzig, played for Bayern Munich. Doesn't really start for Bayern, hasn't gotten the, the team. That's why he's been loaned out because perhaps his technical level isn't the best. He's an okay player, he's good, but he's got experience that you need, that leadership qualities on the pitch. And I'll show you exactly what he sort of brings data-wise. Now, if we look at what you've got, uh, the data tells us that Sabitzer tends to play as the central midfielder, maybe a part of a double pivot if you put him as the central defensive midfielder, but we know that's Casemiro's role. But you've got another option now with Sabitzer who can drop a bit deeper to do that, so you've got cover for that position as well. And Casemiro's not available because the other options they have aren't great at that. Then you put him into what his actual data says from the, uh, the pizza charts. Lots of ball recoveries and inter interceptions. This is him at RB Leipzig a couple of seasons ago. It's not last season, it's the season before. Uh, lots of XG from shot creation, takes lots of shots from long range, turns up in the box at the right time to be able to shoot. Lots of shots, so lots of shot volume, uh, not much progressive passing, links up play well, recovers the ball. Like he's all right, he's kind of fine. But you need someone who does these longer passes and can help uh, get the ball forward. Maybe not progressive passes, but just pinging that ball switch and play. Because what you have from Fred is the crab, sideways, always sideways. McTominay, always sideways, always sideways. And the other thing with McTominay especially, is that, and it seems like a quite a, a rep, uh, something that's repeated a lot about McTominay is that he hides and build up. I'm not sure he hides, but he's not always available to receive the ball when they're trying to build up against a team pressing them high. Whereas Sabitzer will. So Casemiro's been locked down by an opposition team pushing the player up on him. What you'll often get now is that Sabitzer will be the one who drops deeper to receive it. Then he can try and carry the ball. And then when the team shifts over, try and lock down this side of the pitch, as teams will. What you're going to then do is leave Anthony free on one side and he can just ping a ball because he loves doing this over there. Anthony brings it down. The team moves up the pitch. Got all their forwards in the game. Try and have a bit of fun. Then Sabitzer can receive the ball back from Anthony and shoot. <laughs> and maybe they'll get some joy out of it. It's not an amazing signing. It's not one United fans will think about for years and years and years. Perhaps maybe it'll turn out to be really good. But it is one that makes perfect business sense. It's a loan for a few months for a real high-end player that United know all about. He's played at the highest level you can possibly play at. And he'll bring some leadership, organisation and character to that dressing room. And that's what they need because they have no midfielders. They're playing in four competitions. It's fine. It's fine, just like this video. So subscribe <laughs> to the channel, please, for more fine videos. There's one coming up on Marcus Rashford that's very good. You should subscribe for that. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.